Okay, so pressing in our design, I've selected a tool. This one, this is my all-time favorite tool, and I use it the most, and I just usually press holes into it around the rim and that sort of a thing, which is kind of cool uh, on those, but I'm, I'm gonna use this tool instead. And so I want something around the rim, and so I'm gonna support it from the backside, and I'm just gonna press in with that design like that. And then I move over a little bit, and I'm gonna press in that design. And I'm just going to work my way around the whole thing and trying to keep that a consistent distance apart. Like that. And that's, you'll notice already that that's starting to create a pattern with the repetition, right? Which is what we're after. That's a cool thing. Pattern and repetition are one of our best tools for surface treatment. The other thing that um, pressing in a design or pattern or something like that a lot of times it will help cover up um, uneven marks or, or cracks or, or different things um, the, that might show up uh, with those. So just pressing in the design a lot of times will, will cover up the surface if it's an uneven surface with those. I will say this, some are going to want to use the needle tool and to, to draw in uh, different things on that, you know, because you want to draw a picture. If you're using the needle tool, um, try to avoid having it at a, at a 90 degree angle where you're just scratching into the surface. More lay it down on the side like I've been doing with this one as you make your lines. Because what happens is you drag the, the tool across the, the surface, it, the clay erupts off the surface and creates really jagged sharp edges. And sometimes you bump into those edges and they flatten them out. And so then all of a sudden your design that you drew in is actually not there anymore. Um, so if you can press in your design like this, oh, hold on, hold on a second, let's get this back there. It's like, what are you talking about, Mr. White? Hold on, here's what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, so I have, I have a flat surface, and I'm ready, ready to go and do my drawing on that one. Oh, there's my ring in that one. Okay, so if I take the needle tool like this, and I just drag it across like that, you can see that there's little pieces that erupted out of the area and it looks jagged and it looks uneven. Those are not good on that sort of thing. If we look at the side of it, you can kind of see see those little pieces that are sticking up. One, they become sharp and, and that sort of thing, but it's also not a very, very good surface. So how do we cure that? So instead, we take the needle tool like this and we kind of press it in as we go across. So we're not at that 90 degree angle. You'll notice the line here is much more smooth. We don't see those eruptions coming out of the clay. And um, that they're, well, you can see they're not there. So you're saying, but Mr. White, how do we do the curved lines? Well, that's a little more difficult, but you can take them and slowly create curved lines like that by draining it, and you can go over them, okay? So there is that possibility. You can also, if you make your scratchy lines here, you can try to eliminate some of the stuff. Okay, I went over it, and you can see how it's closed that, that area up again, but then we can make multiple scratches of it. We can clean it off. We can try and, and, and get those little clay boogers out of there and, and make it so it, it's a more of a clean line, uh, even if it was scratched in a little bit uh, on the surface. And so that's a much cleaner line, a much better look that we have. It's still a little inconsistent on the thickness on those uh, that we have. And so that's what you want to do as far as trying to use the needle tool to scratch in. I would encourage more of some sort of a pressed in design uh, like we're doing here uh, on, on your surface. Now I can go over the whole surface, you know, so like I could put in a row of, of these marks and then I could go down another layer and put in another row, and I can put in another row, and just repeat that across the whole surface. You can just go on the rim. Now, it takes a little bit more time to cover the whole surface, but time invested is not a bad thing. That, a lot of times, is a good thing. So I'm going to leave that up to you. A minimum of maybe something around the rim um, uh, is, is what you want to do. Looks like I'm, I'm getting close to back to the beginning here, and so as I get closer, I'm going to have to make sure I adjust it so my, my marks are not intruding on each other too much. So, so now I have those marks around the rim. It's created a pattern. That looks pretty good. It also gives those little indentations on the inside 
which is a kind of cool thing. I found myself a lot of times, I'm actually more interested in the little indentations on the inside than I am with the marks on the outside. Uh, because if you have them all over, you have a whole series of those little cool bumps um, on the inside that, that has a pattern that's smooth on the inside. Anyway, that's, that's a little bit about uh, pressing in a design. Once again, you can do uh, things on the surface with the drawing. So that's a little bit about that. That's kind of cool.